Want to save on some of the biggest names in streaming on the network made for streaming? X marks the spot. Now when you get Xfinity Internet for 12 months, you can add the new stream saver for $15. That includes Netflix, Peacock, and Apple TV+. Plus. That's Xfinity Internet and Stream Saver for just $35 a month. All your favorites. All in one place. All for one low price. For more watching and less spending, X marks the spot. Switch to Xfinity, the network made for streaming, and bring on the good stuff. Dion Kosa with Preps KC here in the Preps KC studio powered by Xfinity Internet. Count on a reliable connection for all your devices, even when everyone's online. All right, we kick off the Suburban White Virtual Media Day. Uh, alphabetically, of course, we start with Belton and Coach Todd Vaughn. And Coach, uh, you know, the one thing I love about your program, uh, if you've got a lot of veterans back, you're always solid. If you've got young kids back, you usually you're a lot better at the end of the year. You, you always seem to get better as it goes on. You're a little younger this year. You, you know, as many returning starters. What have you seen out of this group this summer that's got you excited? Well, I think just the total uh, commitment from our kids to get better physically. Uh, we started that uh, last winter and, and carried over in the spring, and we had a we had a good summer uh, in the weight room and getting better physically. And then we had a great summer football wise. Uh, our kids have made a lot of improvement. On um, uh, we got a lot of young kids, a lot of kids that are playing some different spots and doing some different things. But the progress has been a pretty steady incline, and, and hopefully that will continue and and uh, carry on throughout the season. Offensively, is there one position group that's really taken a big step forward for you? Uh, well, I mean, anytime you start a sophomore quarterback and you get him back a year, you know, having Cooper back as a junior will will uh, a little bit year of experience. Uh, we feel uh, we had a we lost Javon Miner last year's running back, but we feel like we're in a good spot there, have a, even more depth than we've ever had in our football program there. And then some of those kids will also play receivers. So we feel honestly pretty good about our skill kids. Uh, we've got uh, uh, some some good receivers to go along with our quarterback and running back. And uh, we just need our offensive line to develop and continue to get better. We uh, will have a couple seniors there, but we'll have actually three seniors, but one of them uh, did play last year because of an ACL tear. So uh, we'll have three guys on our offensive line will be new and inexperienced, but I, I feel good about where they're at and where they're going to go and how committed they are. So uh, we'll have a growing pain here or there, but for the most part, I feel pretty good about them. Defensively, what do you like? Well, um, honestly, I think that uh, we've have we have some experience and some quality coming back in the back end uh, that we haven't had in our secondary in a while. I think uh, um, uh, we've got some kids that I think are going to be good, solid football players there for us, and we've had a couple kids that moved in. I think might be able to help us. Uh, we've got our uh, Quentin Atterbury back, who's been a linebacker for us since his freshman year. We. We like where he's progressing and the other guys with him. And then where our inexperience is going to be is defensive line, but we feel like we've got some good kids there that can uh, be good football players. So I don't really, I don't see a weakness there, but I don't see like a super strong position. I think they're all pretty much headed in the right direction. Uh, uh, all pretty good, high quality kids that with experience could be really good football players. Well, Belton, you guys have done such a good job down there. Um, how for you? I mean, you've been there for a while now. Is it how exciting is it just to you know come in? You got great facilities, you got great kids to be able to do this every year. Well, I mean, I I I, well, I told my kids yesterday, I I don't uh, I have the greatest job in the world. I believe that. <laughs> uh, I don't see it as a job. I can't believe I get paid to do what I do. Um, now, there's some days, there are some moments where you kind of wonder that, but for the most part, <laughs> um, I feel very fortunate to find something that. I'm passionate about and I love doing it make it makes coming coming here easier I I don't know how people can go to work every day and not be passionate or or, or love what they do so uh, I'm lucky no doubt this is my uh, 30th year of doing this so uh, I feel I feel good about uh, where I'm at and um, hopefully uh, hopefully I'm, I'm still passionate about it three or four years from now too so we'll <laughs> 
Well, Coach, it should be a fantastic season. Good luck, and we appreciate you taking time with us. All right. Thank you. Dion Flusso with Preps KC here in the Preps KC studio, powered by Xfinity Internet. Count on a reliable connection for your, all your devices when everyone's online. All right, we move along here to the Suburban White Virtual Media Day. We're joined by Florida Sage coach Brock Bolton. Coach, uh, st- solid season last year. I know you guys are used to going maybe a little deeper, but uh, you bring back a lot of good players off that team last year. What do you like that you've seen so far here in, in the summer and in practice? I don't know what I'm seeing in the leadership. Um, our best players have been our best players all summer. They've been there every day working, whether it's quiet leadership through example or getting on other kids and getting kids there. That's what uh, that ha- it's made me the happiest this summer. Offensively, uh, outside of your tailback, which everybody <laughs> knows about, what are you seeing? That are, you know that's a good thing. <laughs> we, 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 we don't have to talk too much about uh, River Peppers, but uh, what do you like about the offense that you've seen this summer? Well, we brought in a new offensive coordinator, and the kids are real excited. Um, we're picking it up, I think. Um, I've liked what I've seen, a lot of different things from the defense to see that we normally don't over the summer. But really just that excitement level and different looks that this offensive coordinator can give people. Defensively, um, that's your side of the ball, uh, naturally. Uh, what What is that group doing that's that's uh, uh, pushing you, get, that you, that has you thinking they're ready to go this here in just a couple of weeks? Um, just as with the, all the returns that we have back and the growth that they've had over the last couple of years, we're a lot further along than we normally are at this time, whether it's just understanding football or our blitz game and everything, the way they're communicating. The communication and checks have been amazing this summer. Uh, how are you guys doing on building depth? Because I know that's one of those things that everybody's got to do. And even though you got a lot of returning starters, guys get hurt. <laughs> that okay. happens every year. Um, most positions, I feel like we got better depth than we normally have. Of course, that there's still a fall off. You never have enough offense alignment, that's for sure. I don't know where these other teams find them, but um, we're we got to stay healthy on the offensive line and um, do our best to keep people off forever so we can keep him out all year. Well, tell me this. Uh, your your league is a little different. Um, you're kind of back down to four, so you're in a bigger league uh, this year uh, with Platte County and Green Valley. That's a great Class 5 league. I don't see it. Seems uh, to resemble our district a lot, too. <laughs> I think the uh, conference championship is going to determine who gets to host the district championship game the way it looks. Um, yeah, it's going to be a tough conference this year, week in, week out. I'm looking forward to it. Well, Coach, it should be a fantastic season. Good luck, and we appreciate you taking time with us. All right. Thank you, and thank you for all you do for high school sports. <laughs> Dion Closo with Preps KC here in the Preps KC studio, powered by Xfinity Internet. Count on a reliable connection for all your devices, even when everyone's online. All right, we continue through the Suburban White Virtual Media Day. We're joined by Grain Valley coach David Alley. And uh, coach, uh, you, you, can't, you went down to Web City, you got that experience. You can check that off the bucket list, playing a yeah. playoff game at Jets in Web City. But uh, uh, came up short, but a great run for that team last year. Um, and you've had team, you've got a team in Raytown South to the state championship game. Uh, it's got to be a fun looking back at that team, but also bringing some players back from that team to, to go into this year. What do you, what, how fun was last year and how, how much fun are you having now with this new group? Well, yeah, the unfortunate ending wasn't very fun, but it was, it was a fun, you know, season to get there. Um, you know, those, uh, luckily we've had a few good ones, strung a few good ones together here. And, and this group has just bought in the, that same mentality, you know, next man up, uh, they're working hard. I, you know, I, I, I think I say this every year, but I'm blessed to be able to say this, that they're hard workers. You know, as far as their identity, their personality, all that stuff, you know, that's still yet to come out a little bit. But uh, I do know that uh, they they came to work every day this summer. Uh, that there's nothing we could that we did that, that they wouldn't want to do and didn't give their best effort for. So that that makes us, um, you know, very high on what they could possibly do this year too. Coming off and being experienced with you know some postseason success. Well, you got some spots you're gonna have to fill. And quarterbacks yeah, always cool. always one that uh, uh, it's you know you kind of be a little. Not nervous, but you got somebody new filling in there. 
Um, how, how are those competitions going and, and how's that looking for you on the offensive side? Well, the great thing about Missouri football is we have 20 contact days that uh, we get to take advantage of. And, and we try to utilize those days, you know, with ourselves practicing with uh, going to team camp at Pitt state with being able to scrimmage a couple other teams throughout the summer and uh, put our kids in situations to compete and to, you know, find out who does want that job. And, um, you know, chase near, uh, going to be a junior kid for us, been, you know, around the football in Grain Valley for a long time. Uh, his dad's a Hall of Fame member, you know, in, in our uh, from our high school. And so, um, you know, he, he's done a really good job of running the offense. Um, he, he, You mentioned the quarterback that we had last year, Sal, and, and some previous quarterbacks. Uh, they're always hard to replace. You, you know, that, that experience you have come back and the, the, the kid who's played varsity, he's not had that opportunity. But I, I tell you, um, <laughs> you mentioned Webb City. Uh, Chase really grew up last year playing scout team quarterback, <laughs> trying to do with that Web City. You know, they, they had a couple kids that grew up quarterback, and and uh, he tried to throw, he tried to run, he did everything we asked him to do to um, give us a good look on that scout team. And, and so he's kind of parlayed that into showing us, yeah, he understands offensive football. Yeah, he can put us in the right position. Had a great, you know, season for us at JV. And, and so, yeah, the only thing he's missing right now, and, and he'll mention this. He could be a little taller. He's not very <laughs> tall, but um, th- that doesn't matter. He, he can. He, he's got a grasp of the offense, and and uh, he just needs to get that varsity experience. Defensively, what do you like? Uh, you know, the again, they're they they come downhill at the football. You know, they're they're there there might be some mistakes we make, but uh, they're going to be made full speed, and it's not going to be for lack of effort, lack of trying. <laughs> Um, you know, we, we have a, a good core of linebackers back, you know, three of those guys are back with starting experience. We have two defensive backs. Um, you know, the big hit, we, we, you know, we're lucky enough last year to have six defensive line. We rotated through, uh, the starting, you know, core for us. And so all those guys are new, but, um, you know, the, the guys we have coming in are, are going to do a, a great job for us. We have one senior, uh, there are actually two seniors, Matisse Polk and, and <clears throat> Mr. Osborne, who's doing a, a great job for us. And then got some young guys who are stepping up and trying to work for some of that varsity play that, you know, obviously will help this year. We'll pay dividends in the future, but, you know, it, it, it's all about what's going on now. And I tell you, they've grown a lot over the summer. And, and you know, again, expectations are high, and, and these guys believe that and, and want to fill those shoes to keep that success going. Well, it should be a fantastic season. Good luck, and we appreciate you taking time with us. Thanks. Appreciate it. Yep. Have a great job. Thanks for all you do for Kansas City Sports and high school football. Dion Closer with Preps KC here in the Preps KC studio, powered by Xfinity Internet. Fastest internet with multi-gig speeds to the most homes. As we move along here in the Suburban White Conference Virtual Media Day, we come to Platte County and Coach Bill Lutz. And uh, Coach the, went from five co- conferences to four, so you get a Fort Osage coming back uh, down with you there. And um, it, it's going to be a, a little tougher conference this year than it was in the past, but a good conference. Teams you're going you're gonna to see down the line. Uh, what do you what what's got you excited about this year and, and the teams you're going to play? Well, it is it, you know adding Fort Osage and Truman and and uh, making that a bigger team conference. It really changes things. Um, you know, every game is 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 basically a you know a game that you have to have to compete in and and win if you want to compete for that conference title. Um, so it'll be fun. You know, it'll be interesting. You know, we've seen Fort Osage. Gosh, we've been in the same you know, mega conference, if you will, for since 08, since we were able to join and we've only seen, we've only seen each other, what, uh, twice, you know, which is crazy. Um, so having them on a, on a regular schedule is, is definitely, you know, a, a, a challenge. I look at Fort Osage as, as being a very equal to us in a sense of kind of, um, you know, tradition and, and kind of the way we play and everything like that. And so, um, very well coached team. And, and it's obviously a, a team that is, um, you know, a, a challenge every week in and week out, you know, so, um, and hard nosed kids, you know, there's, a, you know, it's going to be a, a uh, it's going to be a fun rivalry in that way. Um, of course you still have Grand Valley who's, you know, it's been, uh, a, you know, over the years has been just one of those teams that, that again, we are very similar to, um, 
you know, and, and, and everybody else in the conference, it's going to be, it's going to be a fun setup for sure. Um, you got a lot, eight good side, a good number of players on both sides of the ball coming back. Real yeah. experienced group. You, play, you were playing some young players the last couple of years. Uh, yeah. What strides have they made this offseason? You know, the, the, the fun thing with it is um, they've really kind of come together and played well as a group, you know? So um, yes, we have a lot of kids back that have played, you know, a lot of games already. Um, sometimes that can set up a problem just because you end up with a lot of, a lot of, uh, really almost alpha males in the group, you know, when you have that many returning guys. And so, um, you know, that was one of my concerns going into it and, and they have really meshed well, you know, so juniors to seniors, offense to defense, um, just, just as a group, they've done a really nice job of. Of, of being focused and understanding what they need to do to accomplish big things. And um, you, you just, you just kind of, you, you really just see it come together really nicely. They, they complement each other very well. And, and this group is kind of special. Your son's in that group. And uh, yeah. how fun is that? I know that's, it can be a, a challenge, it, especially because you know, it's these, these kids that he's played with and you've watched these kids go yeah. all the way through. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, you know, it's a, you know, every other situation you see kids as, as, you know, you get them as freshmen and you, you kind of learn on, you know, you kind of learn around them. You kind of learn the families, you kind of, you know, you, you kind of mingle with them. And the next thing you know, they're graduated and gone. Um, in this case, obviously, you know, I've, I've seen them when they were a lot younger, you know, so I've known <laughs> for a lot, a lot longer. Um, coaching your son is a challenge for sure. Um, blessing and a challenge. You know, I, I think, um, I forget he's there sometimes, which I think is a good sign, you know, that, that and, and it's, you know, I have so many other things going on that I, if, if I were, if I didn't forget he was there, that'd be a problem. So I, <laughs> you know, and, and uh, it's, like I said, it's a blessing and, and a challenge at the same time, but um, it's really special, you know, it's really fun in, in that sense. And, and uh, he's probably tired of, of, of being in the same vehicle with me all the way to school and all the way home and at practice and everything else. But, um, you know, it, it, it creates a, a really kind of a special scenario for sure. Well, coach, it should be a fantastic year. Good luck. And we appreciate you taking time with us. I appreciate it. It's uh, we're looking forward to it and ready to go. Thank you. Dion Closer with Preps KC from the Preps KC studio, powered by Xfinity Internet. With speeds faster than the gig, you can power a house full of connected devices all at once. All right, as we move through the Suburban White Virtual Media Day, we are joined by new Raytown coach, Anthony Morgan. And coach, you were Van Horn last year and um, good staff over there. And now you're at Raytown, uh, taking over for Coach Hedrick, who retired. Uh, how has that transition been? I know that's that's sometimes can be a, a, a daunting task, but good tradition set up there the last couple coaches and, and, and some success. Uh, how's your summer? Uh, well, the summer was great. Uh, got a lot of kids interested in the program. Um, the transition has actually been fairly easy. Uh, a lot of people don't know, but I've actually been coaching basketball at Raytown for about 10 years. Uh, and I've been teaching the district for about 15. Uh, so I've been in Raytown basically my whole career. Uh, and so I've actually coached uh, football, uh, at Raytown two, for two years, maybe I think it was 2015, 2016, before I went to Van Horn for uh, seven years. So I'm extremely familiar with Raytown and uh, the district, the kids, and uh, everything that it takes to win. So uh, really the transition has been more so, you know, going from being, you know, as an offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator last seven years to now being a head guy, knowing that, you know, I make all the decisions and I don't have to wait for this guy to make a decision or I'm not giving my input. It's, um, you know, the one who's making all the decisions. So that's probably been the, the biggest transition and, and realizing like, yeah, I'm, I'm asking that person and that person can, you know, you know what they think, but ultimately it comes down to me. So really just coming to grips with that and, you know, all the, you know, admin things that come with, you know, being a head coach, that's probably the coaching part. I've coached different sports and, you know, I've coached, you know, varsity football and basketball for so long. Coaching really comes, you know, I enjoy that. That's the easy part is the paperwork. So just trying to transition <laughs> to understand how all that plays a role in your success. 
<laughs> yeah, no doubt. That's that that is a standard answer I get from first year head coaches. It's the uh, it's the paperwork. It's the that kind of stuff that uh, that that you find out about that you have to do. Right, so, that you didn't have to worry about before. <laughs> now it's like, hey, you know, you gotta do this. Oh. <laughs> Well, tell me this. Offensively, uh, how has your team looked so far this summer? Uh, we look fast. Uh, I got some uh, couple kids that were on the track team. Uh, I got a, a basketball player uh, who played last year. Uh, we got some good size up front. Uh, and uh, I like uh, what we have at quarterback. So, you know, we got some talent at all our positions. Uh, so, you know, we got some guys we can get the ball to and, and who can make some plays. And we also got some size up front that can protect our quarterback and you know, we can, you know, play in the trenches as well. So uh, basically we have a versatile team that I'm excited uh, what I can uh, do with our offense. Defensively, is there one position group that stood out to you? Uh, I would say right now uh, our D-line, when we're healthy, looks pretty solid. Uh, we got a couple good DNs, and then we got some D-tackles that uh, can hold it down. That's probably our, our biggest depth, uh, area of depth uh, is our D-line, but also our secondary is really talented. So, uh, I would say those two areas are I'm really excited for. As we record this, you're uh, heading into day three of fall practice, and that, it's not like it wasn't back in the day when there wasn't much summer and, and you right. had a lot of a lot of time to get stuff in. But is there one thing that you've seen in the summer and you've seen the uh, first couple of days that you, you know you got to be focused on and, and and either get cleaned up or or really be ready come week one? I would say uh, urgency, uh, and I, a lot of it comes down to kind of the day and age with our kids. Uh, not just Ray Town kids, but all kids where it's real casual or, you know, they can watch videos on Instagram or Snapchat or, you know, YouTube. And everybody thinks that you just walk into the field and you're great uh, and understanding that the work has to show up and, you know, you got to move with a fast tempo and, you know, you don't just make plays just because you say you want to make plays. You actually got to go do it. So uh, in trying to get kids to, you know, you got some kids who played varsity before and some who are new to it and getting them to understand the urgency and the tempo of varsity football and not you going to week one and now you're surprised. You know, we got to make sure that, you know, you go into week one and you understand what the tempo looks like. You understand how hard you got to play and how fast you got to play. So I would say that's probably my, my biggest emphasis is just making sure that when week one comes, we understand what that tempo is supposed to look like. And we don't have to go through a quarter or two before we realize, oh, oh, okay, coach, that's what you mean. Let's figure that out now. No doubt. Well, Coach, it should be a fantastic season. Good luck, and we appreciate you taking time with us. All right. Thank you. Deion Clisso with Preps KC here in the Preps KC studios, powered by Xfinity Internet the fastest internet with multi-gig speeds to the most homes. All right, as we move through the Suburban White Conference Virtual Media Day, move on to Ruskin, has moved up from the blue to the white this year, and Coach Tim Callahan, and Coach first year last year at Ruskin, um, a lot of learning going on between you and the kids, uh, but you got a good group back. you got good numbers of starters back. That had to make this summer um, not necessarily easier, but able to probably do more things that you wanted to do this summer. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We – uh we had a good good turnout this summer, um, and and the kids kind of picked up where we left off. We we had to recap a little bit, but for the most part, we're we're steps way way further ahead than we were last year this time. Well, tell me this: uh, when you I know that you, you changed some things up last year. Uh, you know, you're talking. I remember talking about you know taking snaps under center, things like that. Those things are in the past now. Um, what are you seeing your offense do uh, this summer to take, to take steps forward that you really like? You know, I think we're we're really athletic, and and you know our linemen are coming along, and they're they're understanding you know how we need to get off the ball, and um, I think our passing game will be better. Um, I think our quarterbacks he's he's returning, so he's understanding things, and we got competition about every every position. We didn't have that last year, so it's things are going good there. Defensively, what have you seen over there? You know, I see, I see us. We changed it up a little bit, and we're we're being. We're being physical and being aggressive, and and uh, I think we were a little too aggressive at times last year, not really putting ourselves in a good position behind it. But but I think we're a little more balanced and and uh, definitely still keeping the aggression up, though. On the special team side, I know sometimes a school like Ruskin, you know, kickers and, and and specials things like that. How's how's that group? 
You know, we really, that was one thing I, I, I normally pride us on, and, and we worked on special teams, but we really didn't do a lot of kicking and punting, and, and we had a boy that was going to be a soccer football guy, and he he didn't work out. So we, we have a good punter and a kid, a good junior who punted and kicked for us a little bit last year, and he's he's been under the light, so that helps. So I think we'll, we'll be better off. I feel good about it. I think our kids understand our you know, how, how we're going to go about special teams. So we, we hit a little bit yesterday and we'll, we'll make sure we ramp it up this preseason. I know um, your first year in the wrestling community, uh, I know coach Perkins has done a good job of building that program and, and you kind of picked up where he left off. How is the community and, and, and just the number of kids out and how's that going for you? You know, the community is awesome. I mean, it, it, very supportive people. Uh, we've got plenty of support around here. The kids, the kids are doing great and they're buying in. Um, you know, I don't know that our numbers are progressing the way I thought. Uh, I think it kind of goes class to class, but I, I like our, our freshman class coming in. But but the, the numbers are staying. The kids who want to work are working. And then sometimes that you get a little decrease in numbers too. <laughs> you know that, how that goes. But I, I, I've been happy with the kids we have. Yeah, sometimes it, you can have more numbers and it not mean much if they're, if they're not there to work, right? Right, right. Well, Coach, uh, it should be a fantastic season. Good luck, and we appreciate you taking time with us. Well, I appreciate all you do, and we uh, we look forward to the season getting going, too. Thanks a lot, Dion. Dion Closer with Preps KC here in the Preps KC studio powered by Xfinity Internet, the fastest internet with the multi-gig speeds to the most homes. We move along here in the Suburban White Virtual Media Day, and we're joined by new Truman coach, MJ Bland. And Coach, first off, uh, welcome back to the area. I know you're a, a Kansas City kid, played high school and college here, Turner and, and Avila. Um, how special is it to be back in Kansas City coaching football? Uh, I, thanks for having me. I think, it's, um, I think it's extremely unique, extremely special being obviously from the area. And having the familiarity with with all the different programs, a lot of different coaches, um, and now being able to kind of be a part of of all that all that's good that that is uh, Kansas City sports. How fun is it uh, getting to know the kids there at Truman and 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 trying to see what what you can do to kind of help that that program move and get a little better? Um, I the, the only complaint that I have so far is I would like our numbers to be a little bit better. Um, we were very consistent with the numbers that we did have this summer, and I like I'm extremely happily with those kids and they, they, they show up every morning and they work their butt off and, and in general, they don't complain and, and they really do want, uh, they want good things for the program and themselves, obviously. Offensively, what have you seen that you've liked and, uh, or is there a group or that's really taken a big step forward and kind of the positives you've seen so far this summer? I think offensively, I think it's just the, the potential is there for a lot uh, now, obviously, we're a big school, and, and we've got some guys that are going to go in both ways, so we are going to have to be in shape. Um, but just the ability to, for the most part, um, grasp what we're going to do offensively. Uh, I have a, a former – I have a buddy of mine that's in film now, and he came out and shot some – did some shoots for us. And uh, I was complaining to him, frustrated about what we are getting, what we're not getting. And, and he was like – he goes, that first play call I heard wasn't the easiest. Um, so he's like, give him grace. And, and looking back on it, they <laughs> – they're grabbing this stuff and they're getting it. They're doing a really good job. Defensively, what do you like? Defensively, we've got a few guys that can go, and I'm I'm and like just the uh, the motor, and it's some of those same guys that are on offense. Um, the motor they have, and again, it's a brand new offensive system, brand new defensive system, and we've only got X amount of practices in the summer, and so far, overall, we've done a really good job. Now it's just building upon that. When you're in the summer with a new team, um, is building that depth and, and, and getting a lot of looks for a lot of guys, even if they have been starters in the past, is that a big thing for you right now, especially with the numbers being a little lower than you'd like, trying to get as much experience to everybody as you can? Uh, 1,000%. It, it's it's getting kids that were normally the guy, and now they may need to move to a different position, or they may need to. We may need to see if they're best fit somewhere else, or if they're going to continue to be the guy. So they're not going to get. They didn't get a hundred percent of the reps. We kind of mixed everything up, and and again, it's it's uh, it's exciting. It is stressful, no doubt, but it's exciting. <laughs> well, coach, it should be a fantastic season. Good luck, and we appreciate you taking time with us. Thank you so much.
Dion Closer with Preps KC here from the Preps KC studios, powered by Expand the Internet, fastest internet with multi gig speeds to the most homes. As we close out the Suburban White Virtual Media Day, we finish with William Christman and Coach Michael Rose Ivy. And Coach, uh, a, a good group coming back this year. You got some good numbers on both sides of the ball. How's your summer been? And um, what's got you excited right now? Our summer's been, or it went, went really well. Um, you know, it's probably the most commitment as far as guys. Um, who are who are there? You know, every day you know, they miss one or two days, but um, I think the I think the guys understood what the standard was. You know, we we tried to meet with the parents and kind of let them know, you know, a little bit earlier than normal, kind of how we're doing things. And you know, I I would say this is the best parent group we have as well, as far as the support there. So we're really excited about that. You know, there's a lot, um, I guess, a little more external energy um, coming into the program with the parents and the support we have outside of that. So it's been really good. You know, still some things that. Um, you know, I, I would like to see us uh, continue to improve upon, but um, I think where we are in year three uh, with the numbers, we should have about 80 to 85 kids out across all, all um, we're trying to figure out if we're going to still do C team, but um, 80 kids, 85 kids out throughout the whole program. And um, we're excited about that, excited to develop um, as many guys as we can this year, both on and off the field. Offensively, is there a position group or or um, a couple guys that really take a big steps forward for you? Declan Watson, at quarterback, you know, he played some last year. It wasn't the most successful for him when he wasn't there, but I think like he's, I feel like he's taking a lot of strides, um, not only just on the field, but as a leader. Um, you know, there's some things we're, we're doing a little bit differently this year offensively. So he's, um, you know, I know him, myself, offense coordinator, uh, Coach Foster, we've kind of all been in communication with him, kind of what do you like? You know, what um, is this something that, hey, you know, you like doing or is this, you know, something maybe a little more challenging? You know, okay, if it's challenging, do we feel like as coaches, do we see it as something we need? Okay, let's find a way to coach him up on him, get more comfortable with it. So, um, you know, he's really stepped up. You know, I, I really like our offensive line. I think it's our best old line we've had um, as far as the bodies, um, experience. You know, we got uh, four seniors in that group um, that, are, that are starting. Um, you know, one is, you know, relatively inexperienced football-wise, but a good size kid, plays hard um, that we got out this year for his last year. Um, so we're really excited about that. I think our running back room is at, at, when it's all said and done, it's probably going to be our most dynamic group. Um, I think receiver got some guys too, but I, I definitely think we got, you know, um, three, maybe even four backs that we, we feel pretty comfortable with giving the ball to. So um, I'm excited about that, being able to run the football, control the, control the clock, but also be able to get some explosive plays at our receiver group. Defensively, that's your side of the ball. Uh, what's got you excited over there? Man, if you look at the stats over the past two years, man, I don't know if I'm a I'm a deep coach. <laughs> uh, you know, um, I think that the biggest thing with us, man, we 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 got hit a little bit with some transfers at the D line. Um, you know, two guys we really were expecting on that that uh, that went elsewhere, so that that was tough. But you know, we got some young guys that we feel confident. We got some older guys too that we feel confident too that we have to step up and play some more time. Um, you know, I really like the development of our linebackers. Um, you know, we we got some some about. Um, you know, about four to five guys we feel comfortable with playing within that, you know, three, four-man rotation at linebacker. Um, and then secondary, we return all our secondary guys. Um, you know, we got, you know, two sophomore safeties that I think um, if if they keep developing, you know, doing the right things on and off the field, they're going to be guys, you know, both 6'1", six, 6'1 one, six, one and a half, rangy, long arms. Um, Ethan Parrish, um, who was an honorable mention all-conference as a freshman last year, and Nathaniel Coppedge. Um, both guys, I think, are going to be guys. So um, we're excited to see those two. They're doing a really good job with their leadership. And then um, Elijah Dunn and Jeremiah Cunningham at cornerback, um, you know, two guys that, that started last year. So having our whole secondary come back, hopefully we can, you know, cover some guys long enough that we can assist the D-line to those those young guys, really get their feet wet and get get that experience. And those older guys really see what the, the game speed's like playing every day on a Friday against high-quality opponents. So um, we're excited about that. You know, a lot of a lot of things we still got to get better at, you know, but I think we, we're a lot further ahead than we have been in the past three years. Well, that was my final question. This is your third year there. And, uh, you know, I, I always seems like the, a third year of a coach's tenure, if you, you know, brand new there, that's when things kind of start to click a little bit. Uh, like you talk about the parents with the energy and things like that. Is that kind of how you're seeing the buy-in is really, really building and kind of exponentially? Yeah, yeah, I, I see it. You know, that's the hard part, you know, you know, I have a lot of coaching friends or acquaintances and stuff like that. And obviously, 
Um, there's never any jealousy, but it's like envy. Like, gosh, dang, man, I, I'm, I'm looking at Harris last year. I was texting him all year. Like, like how do I, how do I get that? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> um, you know, other guys, too, I, I'm texting. So, um, you know, you, you got to think in relative to where you are. You know, we got a new principal. I'm really excited about Mrs. Texter taking over. Um, uh, Mr. Becker did a great job. But I really think her energy is going to help us, you know, be successful, um, not only as a football program, but as a school um, I think just kind of where we're getting further away from COVID, you know, I think some communities were able to, um, you know, get past that a little bit easier than maybe we were able to here at Christmas. I think sometimes it takes us maybe a year or two behind what, wherever the places are at with that. Um, so I, I'm excited. It's the first day of school here. The kids seem to be energized, um, you know, use kind of different, different, different feeling in the hallways, just in general. So, you know, we're excited. Year three, uh, open up Platte County, which is going to be, you know, one of the tougher opponents we're going to face uh, all season. Um, but we're excited for the challenge, you know, excited to go out there and play in a great atmosphere. Um, and then from there, you know, I, I think our schedule is pretty manageable. So, you know, we're, we're expecting to kind of increase that win, win total like we have been the past two years. And, um, you know, when districts get here, just see what kind of football team we are. You know, I'm excited about the young guys, older guys, new guys. You know, we got guys pulling out the hallway. You know, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to get anybody, everybody <laughs> to get on, put on a Christian helmet. So it's been great. You know, we're excited about it. Um, it's the biggest staff I've had. We got a you know, 14 coaches on the staff so we can really have eyes everywhere and really develop everyone in every position on the roster. And, um, you know, we're excited about that. And then also I uh, want to thank um, our athletic director, Jeff, Jeffrey Alderman, who's also been a great help and resource. Um, you know, he's seen my vision. We've talked and, you know, just, just trying to assist me where I can, you know, help me grow as a coach, as a man. And, um, you know, I appreciate him and um, just all my whole coaching staff. So we're excited, get ready to go. And, uh, and we appreciate you for checking in on us. <laughs> Well, Coach, it should be a fantastic season. Good luck, and we appreciate you taking time. Yes, sir. Thank you. Go Bears.